Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, season three of Barry the Hatchet. Um, and as you can see, we are. That that's not us. We're, we're down here. There are two Burries. Hmm. So, uh, let's start today's episode off with the transfers. Um, Sean Lumsden has gone out on loan. Fine. Um, but other than that, no other players of note to sort of worry about. Um, we did send a couple out last season um, on free transfers. Craig Daniels, Chris Hull, Adam McWilliam and Ben Halfacre. I wouldn't be surprised if you knew who any of those were. Um, anyway, the, to start things off, Luke Yates, who is a defensive centre slash left back, um, looks all right. Looks all right. Um, he's one of the better players in our team, according to the scouts. Um, looking forward to see what he can do. Uh, free transfer, all good. Um, in terms of how much we pay him, twenty five pound a week. And a £5 bonus if he gets a clean sheet. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, we also signed Vanny de Silva, who is a striker. And he looks relatively good. Good finishing, good first touch. Pretty good in the air, which is something we've been lacking. Relatively good acceleration uh, for this kind of level. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, good decision making. Um, yeah, all round, relatively good. And uh, most importantly, potential to be a Vanarama North-South striker in the future. Um, he is now our second best striker, if we include someone who's coming on them. Uh, we've also got Lucas Dibol, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, um, already improving a fair amount since he's joined us, which wasn't that long ago. Um, not as good as potential, but we'll, we'll see. Um, he's a attacking midfielder, predominantly based in the centre, but he can play the wings. Um, so fingers crossed, he's gonna hopefully play the wings for us. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. We might have to tweak the formation to kind of make the most out of having him. Um, and then two players who I tried to sign him. Um, they declined my contracts and went somewhere else for less. Well, a bit more money actually. They gave him quite a good contract. Um, but we brought him in on loan for nothing. Uh, again, he's a striker. He's relatively okay. He's a good option to have. Um, he's slightly faster than De Silva, not as good at finishing, better first touch, just as good in the heading department. Um, we'll, we'll see how things go with them. And the last person we got on loan is Mark Thompson. Uh, this was actually an accident. Um, I can't terminate his loan yet. I think we might be stuck with him. No. So I was trying to build up a, a rapport with the Darlington manager, maybe see if they would become a, a parent affiliate so that we could just loan their players. I don't think he's gonna like me after I don't play his player as a central defender on a regular basis. Uh, anyway, we now have a different formation. Uh, oh, sorry, we're going back to the same formation we were playing towards the end of last season. Um, and this is how it's gonna kind of line up this season. Uh, Jepson King on left wing back, uh, Valentine on the right, no changes there, head and goal, no changes. Uh, Yates and Whitehead, now the central pairing in 
defence. Uh, Healy and Lancaster, who are the midfielders. Um, Healy is now going to be our captain, so he needs to play a lot, pretty much every game, because he is a phenomenal uh, leadership. He's, he's a phenomenal kind of captain. He's growing a lot. Uh, so more play, and I think he's going to be amazing. Um, although this says he's only going to improve by a slight amount. Um, I beg to differ. So yeah, really good leadership, great determination, good teamwork, and he's continuously growing. So fingers crossed he carries on. Uh, Chippendale retaining that place on the left wing. Um, on occasion, we'll be playing between uh, Cairo Mitchell, um, Ed Vassalo, and Edson Prater potentially. Um, get that rotation in. Uh, De Ball, De Ball, on the right hand wing, uh, inside forward. Uh, occasionally, you can be having Liam McDavid again, Prater Williams over there as well. Um, and then up front, we have Siliconde, who's in on loan. Um, he's pretty good, try signing him, couldn't. And we also have Moncrief. Um, the friendlies did not go great. I have no idea what was going on. We, tr we tried different formations and it wasn't working out for us. Um, we played AFC Wimbledon and they thrashed us. But you know, they're a League 1 team. It's fine. You expect it. Then we played Sunderland's under 23s. Got thrashed. Um, basically, I do not have a good feeling about this season. Um, we are, in fact, second. In the season preview, none of our players are up here in the in the Dream Eleven, but we're second. Um, well, that's interesting. I thought these new signings might really push us up. We were sixth, and we've gone up to second. So I guess we've improved a little bit, but not enough in my book. This season, we do have more games um, that we need to play. Uh, we've got the FA Cup finally. We've got the FA Trophy as well. No more FA Rays. I think the FA Trophy is going to be that new one where we get kicked out. Uh, and then the Northern League Cup, uh, which is in a group stage, which is odd. Um, so there are a lot of games to play if we do any cup runs. Um, rotations are going to be really key, but we have to be very careful that we don't, don't rotate too much. Otherwise, we're just shooting ourselves in the foot and we'll never do anything. Um, Liam McDuffer had a hissy fit because we brought in um, Siliconde and like Siliconde doesn't even play in his position. So honestly I had a little bit of a falling out with McDavid. So we'll see we'll see what happens with him. Um, anyway, so first game of the first game of the season today against Clitheroe, who I always thought were from Cornwall. I, I'm sure Clitheroe is in Cornwall, and turns out Clitheroe is not in Cornwall at all. Um, probably like 300 miles away so we're taking on Clitheroe um, I, I don't remember where they're stated to finish uh, 11th so should be a nice easy game so this is a squad that we are going with today um, Ed as the super keeper Jefferson King on the left Valentine on the right uh, Whitehead and Brown are uh, in the middle um, and on the bench we have Luke Yates and Harry Huddock, who play the left and right respectively. Healy Lancaster in the midfield. Uh, Vassalo on the left inside forward. Debar on the right. And then Siliconde and Moncrief up front. Um, quick note before we jump in. Um, sometimes this skin has an issue where you play your first game after you load it and it bombs out. Um, 
so we're going to play it and if the game does bomb out i will just instant replay it when i come in uh, after reloading and i'll accept whatever result the instant replay gives so let's get into this let's do a nice welcome back to real world kind of come on lads welcome back to football get your head in there um i've got faith in you to do what you need to do so we're walking out onto the pitch and we're off um and already we have a highlight and Vassilou does a quite nice oh wow okay two minutes in and De Bowl is scored um I mean I <laughs> um that was quite a nice ball there I, I yeah all right I'm happy with that one can we keep it up can we do more can we get a like a 3-0 victory on the first game of the season that would be nice Turner's just sat in the midfield doing nothing oh and these uh Adams is pretty wide that was quite a nice little run actually um might have to uh, pay particular attention to him uh that's not how we do that so if I go to opposition uh, we need Adams to be tightly marked at all times probably should assign a certain player to mark him but for now I'm okay um, Callet with the goal kick picked up by Vassilu passes it to Siliconda who just ignores it Adams heads it on and Brown intercepts but gives it away Adams takes the shot and Ed saves it quite nicely I guess um, and heart is in my hands right now this is a, a step up essentially well, it is a step up, it's not essential. <laughs> anyway, uh, first game jitters getting to me. Uh, Clitheroe with the throw in on the edge of the box. Pilkington almost puts it in the net. Uh, Healy heads it out to Moncrief, who now breaks on the counter attack. People in support, passes back to Valentine to Lancaster, out to Siliconde, back to Healy, to Vassilo who I think gets the header. Um, that's the end of the highlight. I was very excited because I thought we were going to score. And football manager just does it like that. Just cuts it off dead. Like, nope, nothing's happening. Anyway, this time though, Silicon Day. He's through. He shoots. He's wide. Ah. The important thing is that we are winning. Um, we've only had two shots on target. Clitheroe have the better XG and Healy now with a corner right into the middle and IB gets it but Whitehead picks up the ball out to Brown who's dangerously high up if we lose possession here Lancaster to Brown who's playing it quite nicely uh, Moncrief has got options IB gets it um, we're, we're looking relatively good uh, going forward um, the defenders are playing very high up uh, and again Silicon Day he's through he shoots he scores it he's in with the assist from Will Lancaster that is his first goal at the club um, I really hope that we can make him a permanent signing because he is very good um, and he now with another corner again straight into the middle nobody's there Ivy had to clear gamble with it and I assume that's Whitehead who's gone out to try and get that. Oh, it's Jefferson King. I thought he would have been up front. Uh, Gamble takes a shot. It's disallowed. I... That, that was... That could have been really bad. That was a shot, right? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. Whew. But so far... That means we are top of the table but their xg is far better than ours and that is very worrying if this is a sign of how things are going to happen like come this season we're going to have a lot of nervous games and i really hope that is not the case we might have to go back to a far more defensive 
um, formation or see if playing in a positive manner uh, is better defensively. Um, we do have plenty of people on defensive roles and supportive roles um, so there's no reason why we should be struggling defensively. Um, I'm going to demand a bit more out of the boys um, and there's only 10 minutes left. Uh, I, I completely forgot to make subs. Uh, Vassilo not doing great so let's get Cairo Mitchell on. Jefferson King is awful. Let's get Yates in. Uh, Joseph Brown mm, not great um, but yeah we're bringing Hudder in. So Lancaster with the ball out wide to Whitehead who crosses it into Lancaster who takes a shot and Kellett gets a fingertip save. So will the highlight continue and we make something from the corner? Please. Healy to Mitchell to Moncrief who's offside. Oh, could have very nearly been a 3-0 start to the season. It still could be. We still got time. We still have time to make it happen. Let's demand a little bit more. Um, but I'm seeing lots of sevens in the average ratings right now, so that is amazing. Um, this is positive. It looks like we might actually not have to replay the game because it looks like football manager is okay. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed, please, because that was a good game. Yes, it's done it. Perfect. All right. So after that, we're in third. Okay, that's a good start to the season. Um, very worrying defensively. Uh, people getting lots of shots off. Uh, but Silicon Day makes his debut and he scores. Um, and who was the other person that scored? I forgot. Who, who scored? Lucas Dibol. That's that's the one. So, uh, yeah, all round. Good start. Financially terrible. Um, in terms of what the board expect from us, they want us just to finish in the top half. That's not very ambitious. We're going through. We're going for minimum uh, playoffs, uh, and really hopefully automatic promotion. Uh, FA Cup second qualifying round. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, FA Trophy the first round. And the Northern Premier Cup, we want to reach the third round. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a full-on season. And again, the board are disappointed that we're not playing a direct football style. Couldn't give a toss what you think, Chris. Please don't fire me. Uh, so, yeah, we are... We've got Aylesbury United as the FA Cup first preliminary round and the FA Trophy a bit later. Um, so what I think we will do is come back in whew, sometime in September. Uh, we'll come back for the Skakeness game um, in the Northern Premier Cup Group 10 and we'll see if there's also uh, FA Trophy, FA Cup games around that time as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.